So Callie's going to try and do this puzzle right here, see, which I got for her um, when she wasn't feeling well and she wasn't eating too much. Wait, wait, sit. Callie, sit. So we're going to see how long it takes her to move all the pieces and eat all the food. There's these little, um, I don't know what to call them. No, wait, no. Wait, she's cheating. Um, so little food pieces in there and then she has to slide the little round things over to the hole because there's food in there. And then we'll see how long it takes. Go, okay, go. So there's some extra pieces outside as a little incentive, but she knows that if she moves the little, I don't know, I'll call them leaves. She can get the initial food. And then she slides that little round thing over. She used to try and bite that thing off. She's still actually trying to do that. She didn't have a full system, but she probably will get to it. And since her surgery, she now has her appetite back because she had this infection which was preventing her from eating. Um, so now she, her appetite is full blast back. So this is actually good not just for her to figure out the puzzle, but also to kind of slow down some of her eating. So she gets part of her meal in here. I also had to get a smaller kibble because I make her food. Um, I had to find a dog food kibble that would fit in the little holes and one that didn't make her uh, digestive system messed up. But I did find one called Redford, which is Pet Supplies Plus own brand food. Um, and it did some research and it's actually higher rated than some of the other food that other golden retriever owners have. I think she's almost done. So those little circles are moved over the hole and there then the food falls out on the other end. And she knows how to double check all of them. And initially there she just figured out that puzzle. Initially she used to slobber over the whole thing. Now she doesn't slobber as much. Did you get it all, Kelly? Good job. I'm gonna guess that took probably two minutes. And there's a lot of slobber there. It's not easy to clean. So I would minus maybe half a star just because it's it is not easy to clean. Even if you put it in water and washed it, it is heavy duty so she doesn't flip it over. So that's good for a large dog. I think it's good for either a large dog or a small dog, but especially for a golden retriever, she is about 86 pounds. Um, she has not tried to paw it to turn it over, which she probably could have done very easily, but she likes she likes working it through. This is a, it's made in Sweden. And I don't know what the actual name brand got out. I'll, I'll link up a, a post of the actual item down there. But this is the only puzzle that she has. She likes it and she's done. So I double check before, now I don't do it as much, to make sure that what, you do, what I do is I open all of these little what to call them levers leaves whatever fill in here cover it up and then I fill up the little hole so after she eats in here she slides this over and there's a the hole goes all the way to the bottom underneath and then it slides inside there and then she's done so it's it's a nice solid piece I was concerned that these pieces would break off because she tried to bite them and pry them off or paw it with her feet um, but she does pretty well with it, and um, it was a good little puzzle toy. So I, I might set this up one or two times a day uh, between her meals. 
for a nice little puzzle. How was that, Callie? Did you like it? Did you like it? Was it good? Yum, yum. Okay, so I think Callie gives that a, a couple of paws up. Um, but like I said, the only thing negative and maybe a knock a half a star off, I, instead of giving it five stars, I would give it four and a half stars just because cleaning it is not as easy. But otherwise, we're very happy with it.